All right guys, we got a big day. Today I'm gonna show you guys the engine for 2-3 Uniform. It's been a long time coming. She's here. She's almost where she needs to be. You know, we went through this process of choosing the choices of this engine and what was gonna be put on the airplane. But it's been in process for a while now, so I'm really excited to show you guys what we're gonna be doing here. And so here we go. Let's jump in and check out the new heart of 2-3 Uniform. All right guys, Chris Palmer here from Angle of Attack. So I've been waiting for a while. I've got a very pretty thing right over here that we've been working on for a while, both, you know, considering the options and what's in the work to get 2423 Uniform, which is our flight school airplane that's kind of a celebrity in and of itself, part of all of our videos, part of so many adventures that you guys love. And as you guys know, fairly recently, we found out that the engine wasn't working and that there's this big emotional story around that with my friend as well. And so there's been a lot of time and investment and thought and feelings that have gone into this process. At the end of the day, there's a lot of wrench turning and engineering that goes into this. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. All right, so here we go. This is the new engine for 2-3 Uniform. This is a Stutz Aviation IO370, 180 horse fixed pitch engine that is going to be the new heart of 2-3 Uniform. So if I can briefly back up and tell you why we ended up here, it's because the O300 engines are becoming obsolete or in my case, it kind of is obsolete. That didn't make a lot of sense to invest in that. Didn't really want to put the money into slight horsepower upgrade with a 320. And then just the availability of getting a 360 wasn't going to work. And so uh, if I can back up a little bit and tell you guys a little story on how all this came to be is a week after I found out that the engine was out, I made a call to a local uh, guy I knew. His name is Dave Stutes. Some of you may have heard of Stutes Aviation before if you are an aircraft builder, modifier, someone that's working on your airplane. He has some some engine applications for older Cessnas and he, he's just really awesome at it. So I called him kind of after finding out that there weren't a lot of great options for me and, and, and not being in a good place. And sure enough, he has an STC for this, uh, for this IO370 fixed pitch, which is something that I kind of fit my, my situation perfectly. It's meant for flight school airplanes. It really, you know, these older Cessnas replacing these older Cessna engines and upgrading to new, modern, safe technology that's really going to bring 2-3 Uniform into the future. So if I could, I'd like to actually introduce you guys to Dave now because Dave has been here for a little bit working on this engine and uh, we've made a lot of progress. We're just around the corner, but Dave, why don't you come and tell us a little bit about this engine? Well... He's right, it's a IO370, 180 horse rated engine, solid crankshaft, fixed pitch only, but it does have fuel injection and has roller cam in it. And I think it's gonna be a great engine for the older Cessnas that are used to fixed pitch and only don't wanna go with the extra expense and a little bit extra weight, not much. And so this is one that's gonna fit the gap to replace the O300s. And now that they're obsolete, you can't find parts and things of that nature. So, yeah, no, we're going to introduce this to the market. And this is a prototype. Prototype build. We're doing various upgrades to the air boxes to get them to fit and various other components. Uh, this is a fuel-injected engine. It doesn't require a header tank. I've engineered that out of it. So, anyway, I'm anxious to see what it's going to do with uh, his uh, flight training and his, this airframe. Great. So yeah, really, really amazing that this all happened even right here locally in Alaska. And in some ways it's actually really miraculous because Dave already had this engine. Part of getting this project done was just going to be engine availability. It's really hard to get engines right now. So this worked out super well. I came in at this miraculous moment and I'm, I'm just so excited about it. So that's been a cool process. It's so cool and so fun that my family is actually here. Hey guys. There we go. To check out the progress. And guys, you're gonna be on YouTube, is that okay? We're gonna get the Okay, so we brought, they brought a little treat for Dave. 
So this is, again, quite a miraculous process with this engine. Uh, it, it's been extremely educational having gone through the install and all the things going on with it. And I've been learning so much and, and just so excited about this choice and what we've decided to do. So I wanna go through very quickly because on the last video, I talked to you guys about helping out with the engine and so many of you were extremely generous in doing so. And so I wanted to name you by name, just your first name. I know that some of you wanted to remain private. So if you would allow me a moment to go through and just name everyone by name and who has helped out with this engine. So not in any particular order, but you know, you guys are awesome. I kind of call you my, my angle of attack angels or my alpha squad. And, and those of you that are contributing, I'll show you a description. You can go check out also if you want to contribute. Uh, you know, I'm gonna do things like make some tags, give you guys this news early. In fact, those of you that are part of this are gonna see this video first, but just different perks. And I did that because so many of you reached out to me and asked if you could help in some way and it would actually be an awesome time to help get two, three enough from back in the air. We're almost there, but every little bit helps. So I just wanted to say thank you to each and every person, whether you gave $1 or, or more than that. So here we go. We got Mark, Rod, Garrett, Tom, Lauren, Eric, Lex, Michael, Trevor, Dakota, Jonathan, Troy, Keith, Jeffrey, Ryan, Daniel, Muhammad, Wayne, Steve, Brian, Juan, Steven, Jim, Jeff, Brett, Zachary, David, John, Joseph, Pavlo, Goran, Adam, Florian, Jonathan, Michael, Matt, Franklin, Luke, Bradley, Bobby, Nathaniel, Billy, Thomas, Daniel, Clayton, Andrew, and Jeff. So thank you guys so much for being a part of this. I really appreciate it. And you know, you guys are extremely generous. It helps out a lot. Very excited for it. So guys, there's a lot to come from here on out. I am, I am excited to finally let this news out because there's actually gonna be some really cool content surrounding it. Not only pulling off the old engine with two, three uniform, but you know, putting it on and, and seeing some of that process. And then of course, what we're all interested in is seeing her fly again. So Josh and Chelsea from Aviation 101 were actually here to be part of that original, taking the engine off, putting the new one on, which was a really special process to have them involved. And you get to see some more characters along the way, some more wonderful people like Marty, who is, is very tightly involved in this. And, and of course, Dave, who has been just awesome. So very excited for this. I know this is a short video, but but I want to make longer content about this and, and really just get the cat out of the bag here and, and let you guys know what's going on. So that is it. I can start talking about it more. And again, just a big thank you to Dave. Big thank you to all of you. And thank you to my family. Hello. <laughs> For being patient with me. We've been working really hard on this and she's coming along. So we're almost there. Can't wait to fly her. In the meantime, we're gonna make sure she's really safe and ready to go and just around the corner now. So thank you for being here. Fly safe and until next time. Throttle on.